Hi, I'm Peaches from Tejano's Best and Tejano Nation. And guess who I have with me here? And uh, there's no introduction for this man right here, Mr. Gary Hobbs. How are, How are you doing? How are you, Peaches? Good? I'm good. I know. I, I'm sorry. I'm, this is like an after. The interview is after he performed twice. It's quite so all right. I appreciate I'm more your than time. pleased. I'm more than pleased to do um, I wanted to ask you just a few questions on how did you get started in Tejano? Um, well, I, my mom was a singer in the 60s and the 70s. She sang musica trio mm -hmm. and mariachi and, and I would go, she'd take me to the um, performances. So I'd sit there in the corner, you know, the, the weddings, the bodas and the quinceañeras and put me with a piece of cake and a Coke and that's why I'm so fat. <laughs> but. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I was influenced by my mom. My my grandpa used to play trumpet in the days, and and uh, and so I, I I started going to piano classes and guitar classes when I was like eight nine years old. But uh, when I was about twelve or thirteen, I started to hear uh, musica chicana, oh, okay. and I I was listening to Latin Breed and Royal Chesters, Royal and Chesters. and the, they're my influences, man. I mean, Jimmy Edward, Alberto Gallegos, and. David Mares were like my influences and so so I started listening to Chicano and then uh, when I got out of high school I went to college for a year and went back to Eagle Pass and uh, I got married I went back to bands that we had started with uh, several of our friends in Eagle Pass and uh, and we just decided to record uh, got some money the next thing you know I was at Hacienda Records in, in Corpus Christi and we were recording a uh, an LP back then, it was like 1983 or so, and and, and the rest we've been recording ever since. Wow. So, um, you are, everyone calls you Borado del Eagle Pass. El Borado del Eagle Pass. How did you get that name? No, it's not a name, I don't know where they came up. Borado means hazel, hazel uh -huh. ice. Okay. Borado, and it just stuck, I guess, No, nobody, I mean, absolutely <laughs> nobody called me Borado, from my, my parents, my relatives, nobody, and... Uh, but it's something that a DJ picked up somewhere and I guess it just, it stuck. But uh, I've, I've been called a lot nicer things and a lot worse things. <laughs> but Rao means hazel eyes, hazel. Hazel eyes, that's nice. And so your mom, you grew up, I know like the, a lot of the artists, they have their parents or they have, um, you know, their inspiration on they started is from family. And I didn't. I did not know that your mom would sing too. Yes, my mom. My mom is an excellent singer, and uh, I mean, and and the the uh, the legends. Uh, the the <laughs> I used to. I never really asked her, but but uh, someone told me along the way. You know, my mom, uh, right out of high school, wanted to train in, in opera music, and I never really even asked my mom about that. But oh, wow. but my mom was is. You know, she's, she's um, I can't say her age because she'll be really <laughs> mad at me. But, but you know, gracias a Dios, I still have her with me. And uh, my mom's an excellent singer. And so that's really who I uh, I got the influence from. And I heard that your grandmother, your grandmother my hums. And she would hum around the house. And my grandmother, my yeah. grandmother, Maclemore, Lucia Maclemore. Lucia. My grandmother, uh, my grandma was really the matrix of the family. and. So we all huddled around them. I was I was raised a single by a single parent, but but we actually lived with my grandparents. So mm -hmm. in every essence of the word, my grandpa and and my grandma were more like parents, right? And oh, right. my mom was right. working too, and she'd get out of work and she'd be home. And but uh, my my grandma was always humming, always humming. My grandpa liked to sing too, and he sang very in tune. And I just I gravitated oh, to wow. that. You know? Wow, that's that's nice because my mom she she goes around the house and hums and I find myself doing I the same thing. I still hum all the time, so you know. Yeah. I think I'd be better at it, but uh, you know. I... <laughs> now in uh, 2000 and was it uh, 13? You had the album with David Lee Garza, y los musicales, uh, just friends. Yeah. And the, that collaboration, how did that? feel to be you were asked by him to collaborate in that album right mm -hmm. well i was blessed because he he picked up uh, i guess 10 different singers nine singers and mm -hmm. and uh and uh, you know it, it was one of those things where uh when he asked me to sing i was you know i'm blessed you know i'm privileged and i said man I, i'm in you know i'm in and uh <laughs> One of his favorite songs is La Barca, yeah. and he told me that. And I, because uh, I think he sent me a song, and I told him, 
you, you know, Dave, I'm just not like feeling that, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but I wanted to be very much part of the project, you know, and won a, it won a Grammy. And but uh, yeah. but then he he sent me, you know, a text and we talked. And he said that one of his favorite songs was La Barca, and I said I'll, I'll practice it all. I'll, and so we got into the studio in San Antonio, we'll give you a last kiss, and and we got to be on the CD, and I was I was privileged. I was honored. Nice. And then a year later, 2014, was Las Miradas. Uh, La, mm -hmm. No, Las Miradas has been out since 90-something, you know, but... but oh, back uh, in the 90s? Yes, back in the 90s. The, the, last, the last project that we put out is Recuerdos de Mi Madre, and that was uh, okay. where um, we recorded Amor Eterno. A lot mm -hmm. of these songs that my mom sang, you know, that I saw her actually sing. And um, the only song was Amor Eterno that I know she, lo she loves Amor Eterno, and I kind of mm -hmm. put it into that... Uh, into that project. It started a project uh, just for her, no mas para ella. But, but then it got to the point where, you know, we thought about it twice and we recorded it all Tejano. And so it came out and I gave her the first copy and, you know, she just, oh, you know, wow. but it was, it was for her. So Recuerdos de Mi Madre was the last CD that we, uh, that we recorded. But um, just a little note, we, uh, you know, uh, written and recorded 36 plus songs and I hadn't written Tejano song in, in over 15, 17 years, and mm. I just I've been writing lately two, three songs. So we're going to uh, we've been in the studio with just preliminary stuff, you know. But uh, but we have, we already have a song out, uh, Cuando Eras Mía, Cuando Eras Mía. It's about it's about a guy falling in love and head over heels, and <laughs> and he he explains everything how why he loves her, uh -huh. but the but the thing about it is that you know she gave love and love and. And, and before he, he could really realize it, he didn't realize it, but he had uh, really, uh, is, is, uh, he had really um, taken, uh, taken it for granted. Oh. And so it was always this way. And before he, he could realize it, he had lost her because he didn't reciprocate it, right? But right. Cuando Eras Mia, we, we started doing preliminary work on it and, and we should start recording the rest of the CD really soon. Nice, that's really nice. And uh, here, um, everyone here on Tejano's Best, we support you. Um, I know, um, you know, it's an internet radio station, but we do our, our best to bring the music we out there. That. We appreciate them. And um, I want to tell you that um, I'm a big fan, of course, and I appreciate you being humble and kind and uh, wanting to give me the interview. I, I know you're tired. Um, you're great performance. Appreciate them. Um, and, it was uh, great being in Arizona. It was a uh, good crowd. It was a good crowd. A good crowd. I appreciate all the love and support, Arizona. So that's right. Mm. Do you have any upcoming um, events? I know tomorrow's going to be at the Tropicana, yeah. right here in Avondale. Avondale. Mm -hmm. Well, we we uh, we were in Del Rio last night, so we we had quite a drive after last night's show, and we're here tonight, and then we'll be going back to Texas, I guess, uh, Sunday, or Saturday, and. Uh, I really don't know where, where we are next week, but uh, <laughs> but you know you can visit us at GaryHouse.com and we're we're on several social sites, you know, and um, uh, Facebook and stuff like that, Instagram. And we want to promote the cruise also because well, you have the cruise coming up. I appreciate that. You know, we uh, it's our second annual uh, Gary House family and friends. We did it last year and it's such a we had such a great time. It was exactly that family and friends, the Hano family. You know, people that that have loved us and supported us and supported Tejano music. And, and, and this year we're going to Rotan Honduras, uh, Costa Maya, Mexico, and Cozumel, Mexico. And mm -hmm. it's November the 5th through the 12th. And um, you can visit us at TejanoCruiseEvents.com. TejanoCruiseEvents.com. Right. And, uh, and on board we have Debbie Ligarza, Los Musicales. We have Mr. Roberto Pulido, Pio Treviño from Magic, uh, our... Uh, our guest, our Mark Ledesma, of course, Mark uh, is with Ledesma now, and he used to sing for David Lee. Uh, yeah. Our guest, our uh, Casey Savala, she used to sing with Jimmy Gonzalez Grupo Mas for about 10 years. Mm. Fantastic singer. We also have um, Hector Gutierrez, my producer. He's going to be doing a, a show on his own. We also have Gabe Garcia, special guest. And our MC DJ is Ruben Peng, El Tejano Loco from Houston. <laughs> yeah. And, of course, Gary Hobbs and uh, the usual suspects. <laughs> and uh, but that's November 5th through the 12th. This year it's on Royal Caribbean. It's a Liberty of the Seas luxurious ship. We have the biggest dance floor on the I seas. Heard about a, the dance ain't no floor. lie. Yeah. 40 feet by 60 feet, wow. and uh, we have three full dances. We have a meet and greet. We have a 70s, 80s party. 
We have a Tejano nightclub night, and we also have a Tejano music karaoke idol contest. And whoever <laughs> wins the contest is going to get to sing with David Lee Garcilo oh. Musicales or Gary Hobbs, Team Gary. Team Gary. <laughs> yeah, right. but uh, it's uh, visit us at TejanoCruiseEvents.com. Nice. Do you ever get to hang out with any of the artists like David Lee and Jay Perez, or do you ever? Have that opportunity? No, the truth on on last year's cruise, I got to, I got to you know hang around a little while with David Midas. He was on board with us. He did a fantastic job, and uh, I spent a little bit with with the musicales here and there, and uh, it's just that I I uh, I took I was blessed to be able to have all my family with me from my mom and my oh, nice. sister and uh, everybody except my brother. He couldn't make it, but but. Um, uh, relatives, re mm -hmm. bunch of family with us, and, and we get to do it again this year. So nice. Well, I'm gonna thank you for your time, and uh, be sure to, uh, you know, catch Mr. Gary Hobbs. He can find him on Facebook and all the social media outlets. Yes, and we wanna thank you. Uh, well, thank you for all the love and support. Uh, you know, big secret. I've been around 34 years, nothing but Tejano music, and um, we hope to see you all on the road soon. God bless. You. Thank you for uh, tuning in. This is DJ Peaches and Gary Hobbs.